The Univariate Search. This is probably the simplest of the multivariable optimizations there is. And in fact, if somebody didn't know anything about, you know, fancy multivariable optimizations, this is likely what they would try first. So let's say we have a function. We're looking at the ISO contours here. And we're just looking at two independent variables, but you can easily imagine many others. So we start the algorithm by picking an initial guess that's hopefully pretty close to the extrema. From there, we're going to pick one independent variable at a time. So let's start with x1. And we perform a one-dimensional optimization in that direction until we get to a local extrema, which we'll call x sub b in this case. Then we move to the next independent variable, which is x2. And we perform a one-dimensional optimization along x2 and arrive at the next local extremum, xc in this case. Well, we've been through all independent variables, so we start over again. We optimize along x1, we optimize along x2, and so on. And we just keep repeating and optimizing along each independent variable at a time. And we notice that we are slowly converging in onto the extremum. So here's the block diagram of this method. Of course, it starts with an initial guess that's hopefully as close to the extremum as possible. Then we're going to iterate through all independent variables. Are we done? No, because we just started. So we perform a one-dimensional optimization along the ith independent variable. We then go to the next independent variable and repeat. And so if we have 10 dimensions, we will loop through this 10 times doing a 1D optimization along each independent variable separately. One pass through that, we now have a new position. We'll check if we're converged. And of course, if we're, if we're not converged, we will repeat that again and we will loop back through all independent variables. And we'll keep doing this until converged. Once that's done, we have our local extremum. When we do this, we notice sort of an overall direction developing. This is called the pattern direction. And the pattern direction really is in the direction of the extrema. And we can make the univariate search a little bit more efficient if we do a few iterations, look for a pattern direction, and then maybe jump in the pattern direction, then repeat the univariate stuff, look for pattern direction. So you can imagine all kinds of hybrids of different algorithms. That's the univariate search, very simple. From the bottom of my heart, thank you very much for watching this video. I love hearing your stories about how these videos helped you. I also love answering your questions. So please tell me your stories and ask your questions in the comment section. I promise I will try to answer every single question that's asked. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. I also recommend visiting the official course website that has links to the latest versions of the notes, the latest videos, and there's lots of other resources to help you learn, including implementations in MATLAB. I'll see you in the next video.